speak to Kyle? Kyle, listen. I just got one question for you. Who buy your albums? Who buy your albums, bitch? Everybody's buying them, bitch. And it seems like everybody's sampling them, too. Listen, ladies and gentlemen, honey, this is your girl, T.S. Madison, and the one hit wonder that's down here to collect everything that's owed to her. And with that being said, welcome to the Queen's Court, honey. Docket number 11, excuse me, 12, 11, 17. And first up on the docket, <laughs> pay how you weigh, hoes. Ooh. Pay how you weigh. I don't care if it's straight money. Where pay how you boys? weigh. Pay how you weigh. Make it rain on me, bitch. Pay how you weigh, bitch. Make it rain on me, bitch. Even if it's this kind of money Tell from the body city. Tell them honey's off. Tell them on. Tell them on. Pay you. Pay how you weigh. Big head honey. Pay how you weigh, bitch. Big head honey. Pay how you weigh, bitch. Big head honey. Bitch, pay how you weigh. Yes, y'all act like y'all got so much money. Pay how you how you weigh. Y'all act like y'all got so much money. All right. So, ladies and gentlemen, with that being said, the first name that's up on the docket. You got a few names on the docket. It's a few names. Yeah, all them bitches that stole from the queen. The first names that are on the docket are. Sweetie, so who? Sawadi? Uh, I don't know what the name is, but the name of the song is she Icy sounds. Girl, uh -huh. YG, Pop It, Mariah Lynn, Too Much Money, City Girls, Fuck That Nigga, and T.I. Hater Walk. <laughs> Let's try these cases. First and foremost, thou shalt not steal, sample, or professionally borrow without permission. So now you bitches is about to be tried in the Queen's Court. All of you bitches are being charged with copyright infringement. And since we couldn't come together and reach an agreement and handle this matter swiftly, we are about to go into litigation and mediation immediately right here on the Queen's Court. I didn't since know. Have you heard any of the songs? I have heard some of these songs. Have any of y'all here? In the Queen's Court, heard any of these songs or know about any of these people that's been still in the Queen's Court? And it's, it's that one hit wonder that you got that my neck, my back sample, they not, right? They love to call me a one hit wonder, but that's the song that they always love to steal and sample, the one that they claim that I stole and sampled. But see, the difference between me and you motherfuckers is I paid for mine. I paid for mine. I got permission to use mine. It seems like they don't know that. They don't know the law. Well, listen, this is the thing what I'm trying to understand. Did, did you ain't put Mona Scott name there. Mona Scott and VH1? Yes. Them and bitches need to be on the docket, too, because they should know better. See, the rest of these nobodies that's doing this underground nigga music that they want to put on iTunes and on YouTube that really don't got no real labels or no real money or no real managers that didn't tell them that they were committing copyright infringement. Uh, you know, it's hard to find them because they ain't got nothing but PayPal's and Cash Me apps. But Mona Scott and VH1 should have known not to promote a song that they didn't have license clearance for. So are you going to come after them like you did Janet Jackson? Wait a minute. I, didn't you, know, you do that to Janet? Couldn't perform it no more. You see what happened after Janet, after Janet. You see what happened. Not only have you bitches been sampling my music, you've been sampling my voice a likeness to make a living through shows, appearances, and single sales, knowing that you were not the original author or copyright owner, nor did you get anything pre-approved or permission from me. So since you motherfuckers are acting like y'all don't know the law, let me explain copyright infringement law and sample works to you bitches. Sample works are understood to be transformations of existing works, bearing features of originality, creativity, and the and individuality of another artist. You need consent from the original author to do that, so you motherfuckers is breaking the law. Don't act like you ain't making show money and making a living off the queen, and I want to collect my motherfucking coins. So, Who we gonna sentence them bitches to? Well, we're gonna sentence for non recognition. We're gonna sentence of an author. We the, the copyright owner of the masters. We the sampling my beat. Not only are you bitches sampling my beat, you've been sampling my voice. All I hear is all you ladies. I can see if you motherfuckers remade the song and you know redid the beat and had one of them hoes sing the verse. But you bitches got these motherfuckers. My voice in the song and then ask me. So I'm playing just like Janet had act bad, talk dirty. We fuck fuck that nigga, fuck fuck that nigga, fuck fuck that nigga. Get on your knee. Why y'all just ain't call the queen and take the queen out to dinner and say, Queen, we want to license your song. We want to pay you and do this business the right way because we know you're going to come and sue the shit out of us. We Why didn't y'all just do that? 
So icy girl, how you just gonna take the whole beat? Why you didn't just get a nigga to replay the beat or something? It's another nigga beat, but I paid the nigga and then I replayed the beat and made it better. You didn't make it better, you just kept it the same. So everybody is really familiar with my beat, my voice, my likeness, my all you ladies pop, my all you ladies pop. You know, I, I, inspiration and theft is two different things. It's one thing to be inspired, but it's another thing to steal. So bitches, all you motherfuckers is going to jail for stealing. We are at the Thou queen. shall not steal. We are at the Queen's Court are now sentencing you. We want the tongues cut out from your mouth. So I can't hear you spit no more. My verse is getting show money. I'm coming to get that show money. We want the hands laid on, on the table. I know you bitches don't own no houses or cars or businesses that I can garnish. But we, I'm going to try. We want the hands laid across the table. One moment. Mm -mm. I'm going to try to garnish whatever you got. Bicycles, scooters. I know you don't own sh no condos, ain't nothing really in you motherfuckers' names, but Mona and VH1, just like y'all had to pay me to pay to play Respect Me, y'all need to be paying me to let Mariah Lynn go up there performing. My neck, my back, my pussy. Them two words right there is worth $500. You want the hands laid across the table. I want that tongue up out your mouth. We so want you can't the tongues no coming more. out their mouth and their hands laid across the table. Mm -hmm. And we want you, Kaya, to... For failure to seek consent of another author's music. We want their hands to be laid Voice. on the table. We do not want this to be sharpened. And we want... Don't sharpen We it. want a weak-handed person to chop and chop and chop until both of their hands come off. Same with their tongue. We want to lay their tongue out on the table like this. And we want them to... Until it come out. Lock them bitches in the Fort Knox vault and suck all the air out with all they can get is one suck a minute. And think about what you did and how you gonna pay me back, bitch. Cause I'm gonna get you, your mammy, your children. I'm gonna garnish all your bank accounts, PayPal accounts, cash me accounts, GoFundMe accounts. I'm garnishing everything. VH1, I'm coming for y'all cause y'all know better. Y'all been promoting it on y'all show and I've been depressed ever since. Y'all wanna know what's wrong with me? I'm depressed. That everybody's been calling me a one hit wonder, but all the singles that came out this year seems to belong to me. And every time I turn on the, 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 the TV and I look on YouTube and Instagram, all I hear is all you ladies pop and you know, uh, too much money and that I ain't got in my bank account yet, Mariah Lynn. Now you had your manager call this morning and ask, could you come and be on the Queen's Court? And that's when I let him know that I needed the address so I could send the subpoena to your motherfucking office, but he never texts me back after that. We still would like for you to come on the Queen's Court so you can explain to me what made you think that it was okay to sample my motherfucking song and likeness and not call me and buy me no weave, red bottoms, and that tired ass queen chair that you got from Ikea. I want that too. So it's the chop. It's the chop shop for you bitches. Okay. Subpoenas is on the way. Next case. Next case. This seems like this gonna be. This gonna bitches. be. It's gonna be death by. If death everybody by. else suing bitches for raping them and all this shit after all these years, I know Statue of Limitation ain't up. I'm coming for you, bitches, money. Okay.